The piece that I chose for my final project is the third class carriage. It is painted by a French realist, Honoré Dormier, and he's also a caricaturist and a sculptor. He painted this in 1862, which is during the 19th century, um, and during this time, um, Dormier decided to focus his works on the political and social life of France. Since it is the 19th century, this was the Industrial Revolution period in Europe, which also happened to be when the invention of the railroad was one of the most significant changes, and it connected people from different places, um, from villages to the big cities. Urbanization is what um, brought on factories, so people had to move from their villages to the big cities and use the railroad as transportation for that and this painting focuses on the family in the front, which is a mother and her baby, a grandmother and a boy. Um, it looks like they could have been peasants or handcrafters um, due to the coarseness of their clothes and the dirtiness of how they look. Um, so urbanization is focused on this painting, which suggests some other problems such as poverty and overcrowding. Um, the environment of this, again, is dirty due to the browns that are used in the painting and show that they're very poor. The overcrowding is depicted in here by the rows of people in the back. Um, there's plenty of faces that you can see that are still crowded in there, and as you can see, the ceiling on the top kind of curves down, so there's not just those few rows, but more that go beyond that to show that the third-class people had to really crowd together. Um, Another problem that it focuses on is French social hierarchy, which um, reveals a separation of the classes. As you can see, these people all kind of dress the same, and they all kind of look a little dirty, and so first class and second class people were put into different car or carriages that they had to ride. Um, Dormier focuses, or uses the different dark colors on this so it doesn't look very light. And the light that you see um, seems to be coming in from the windows of the train, so there doesn't seem to be any other light in there, um, in the carriages, and whatever. Not very much light. You can see that the emphasis is put on these four main characters in the front, or of this family, um, because it is light is being shown onto them. Which also gives the painting a little bit more color because the mom's dress looks a little pink and the grandmother's dress looks blue. And that is really the only color that you see in this painting. And when I was doing research on this, it was shown that this painting actually went unfinished. Um, and you can kind of tell that through the lines and the outlines of the drawing that there isn't as much color as you would think. And there are detailed sketches around the outlines of their body. Um, so we will never know what Dormier really intended for this painting to look like. However, it kind of gives it a unique look seeing the outline of the bodies. They also did a good job of outlining the expressions on their faces, not only on the grandmother and the mother, but in the people of the background. You can see that none of them are really all that happy to be there, and they might seem a little frustrated and depressed that they are put into this overcrowding situation. Um, and just kind of thrown together during this time period. The painting is unfinished. Um, I wish that I could go back and talk to Dormier myself just to kind of see what he intended or to see the finished project of it um, because it does seem like there could be a lot more added, but he also did a great job of showing the problems of third class and being crowded into these train cars because of the Industrial Revolution, which ended up being a great thing, but during the time was very bad for these families in the villages. Um, this painting right now is being shown at the Metropolitan Art Museum in New York, and I think it'd be really great to go there someday, but this was the painting.